Huh? Good morning. Welcome to Hardin County Commissioner's Court. Today is Tuesday, November the 12th, 2019, and it is 10 a.m. Commissioner Pelt will be absent today, but with four members present, we have a quorum, and this meeting is called to order. If everyone will please rise for the invocation by Commissioner Roberts, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. In the gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you have given us. We want you to watch over and guide us and direct us as we go about the business in this court. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner Roberts. No problem. Item number three, approved minutes of the October 21st, 2019 and October 28th, 2019 special meetings. So and moved. the October 22nd, 2019 regular meeting as presented by Glenda Austin, County Clerk. Have a motion by Commissioner Second. Roberts. Second by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number four, consider and possibly approve. Item A, request to cancel all registered claims presented during the October 22nd, 2019 regular meeting. Item B, the cash statement. And item C, quarterly report for the quarter ending September 30th, 2019. This will be presented by Deborah McWilliams, County Treasurer. Good morning, Ms. McWilliams. Good morning. Start with item A. I'm asking the court to release me of the liability of $957,875.34. Item B. On the cash report and general checking, we have $2,213,430.34. In text pool, six million one hundred seventy-eight thousand one hundred sixty-seven dollars and two cents for a total cash funds of eight million three hundred ninety-one thousand five hundred ninety-seven dollars and thirty-six cents. On the text pool account for the month of October, we earned ten thousand seven hundred twenty-three dollars and sixty-four cents in interest. Thank you, and then item C. On our third quarter of 2019 quarterly report, in general checking, our balance as of 9.30 was $2,588,999.46. The investment account at Wells is zeroed out and will fall off after this report. In text pool, we have $6,667,443.36. dollars for total cash funds of $9,256,442.84. This report shows a decrease in the cash balance for the third quarter of 2019 in the amount of $4,626,409.34. Thank you, Ms. Second. Second. Motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall to approve all three items. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Item number five, authorization to pay county bills as presented by Angela Gore, county auditor. Good morning, Ms. Gore. Good morning. The pre-approved expenditures for October the 23rd through the 24th were $528,701.27. Pre-approved expenditures for October the 29th through the 31st were $381,959.07. Pre-approved expenditures for November the 6th through the 7th were $490,017.41. Expenditures for commissioners for today are $230,675.65 for a total expenditures and transfers of $1,631,353.40. The gross payroll for November the 7th was $487,639.74, and the total transfers for that payroll was $593,565.52. Move to approve. Second. Motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number six. Regina Bolton, you want to come forward with your guests? This is a check presentation by the Walmart Foundation in the amount of $3,000 for the Walmart Community Grant. This is approved by Commissioner's Court on October 22nd. I'll introduce Daniel Tucker from the Walmart in Silsby and Longmai from um, Lumberton. I'm sure y'all have seen their smiling faces. Yes. yes, we have. And they're on everything called the Walmarts. 
But uh, we just appreciate these gentlemen so much for the foundation and what Walmart does for everybody, for, for first responders on down. They do a lot for the community, and we're just very appreciative of them to be on board and to help out with our, our tree lighting that we do. So yeah. thank you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Y'all are good. good. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I could have photobombed y'all back here, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm surprised you did. That's I did, not this time. Thank y'all again very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Item number seven, consider and possibly approve order canvassing the results of the number, November 5th, 2019 Texas Uniform Election in accordance with section 67.004 of the Texan, Texas Election Code. I uh, move to table item number seven and let's talk about when we will come back to handle that. Second. I have a motion by the chair and a second by Commissioner Cooper to table item number seven. The reason is there's a ballot uh, that we're waiting on to come in from overseas. Is that right, Ms. Beckman? Yes. And 5 p.m. today is the deadline? Yes. So when I uh, propose to the court, I'm not really available uh, much tomorrow, but if we could come back at 10 o'clock on Thursday morning, and rather than adjourning this meeting, we will just recess until then to come back to canvas the votes. Does that work for the rest of the court? Sorry, did you hear Commissioner Cooper? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? All right, so uh, item number seven will be tabled until 10 a.m. on Thursday, and that is November the 14th. Any further discussion on this item? All approved. Uh, Aye. Aye. Motion is uh, item is tabled till 10 a.m. on November 14th. Item number eight, discussion and possible action to amend the fiscal year 20 budget to accommodate the cost of living adjustment for Hardin County retirees as approved by Commissioner's Court on July the 16th, 2019, as follows. Create new line item 01041227 called Retirees COLA and transfer $276,125 from 01041800 Contingency General to the new line item 01041227 Retirees COLA. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Commissioner Kirkendall, seconded by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion passes three to one. Item number nine, receive and file the bond and official oath of office for Mark D. Ames, Justice of the Peace, Precinct 4. I move to receive and file the bond and official oath. Second. Second by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> Item number 10, receive and file the bond and official oath of office for Corey D. Jeffcoat, Constable, Precinct 4. I move to approve, or receive, rather. Second. A motion by uh, the chair and a second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 10, consider adoption of resolution 39-19 to cast votes in the election of the Board of Directors of the Hardin County Appraisal District. So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 14, consider adoption of resolution 40-19, supporting application for indigent defense formula grant. This is a request made by Angela Gore. Ms. Gore, do you have any discussion on that? No, it's just the same as it has been in the past. It's just every year we have to approve it. Do we know the amount of that grant? I don't have it. We don't get that until later, right? No. Okay. So uh, second. Motion by Commissioner Cooper, second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 13, authorization for county judge to sign memorandum of understanding between the Hardin County Health Department and mul multiple other agencies and organizations for the purpose of dispensing medications in the event of a countywide mass prophylaxis vaccination operation. This is an MOU that we've had in the past and we're just renewing that. Is that correct? So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Cooper. I just want to add that uh, the county attorney has reviewed and approved that memorandum of understanding. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 14, consider and possibly authorize the Hardin County Health Department to enter into a memorandum of understanding with multiple other agencies and organizations on behalf of Orange County, Texas 
for the purpose of dispensing medications in the event of a countywide mass prophylaxis vaccination operation in Orange County, and that MOU will be executed by the Orange County judge if approved. So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. And just make sure everybody understands we have an agreement between the Hardin County Health Department and Orange County uh, to provide services, and that's why this additional MOU is needed. Number 15, consider and possibly approve the sale of a 2008 Ford dump truck, VIN number ending in 8589, and a 1998 Champion roller, VIN number ending in 143X, utilizing Renee Bates Auctioneers Incorporated at ReneeBates.com. This was requested by Commissioner Roberts. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner <coughs> Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Number 16, discussion and possible action to approve and accept final plan of Holly Trail Subdivision Phase 2, a private subdivision located in Precinct 3. Ms. Young? I'm going to need to, uh, the Commissioner's Court to table this item today. Um, the engineers just didn't get it back. Move, no, move to table. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Cooper, and you want to just table that to the next regular meeting? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to get the plan. Just let us know when it's ready and we'll put it back on the agenda. Yes. Any other discussion? All in favor of Aye. tabling item number 16? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The item is tabled. Number 17, discussion and possible action to hire a consultant to apply for the fiscal year 2019 flood mitigation assistance grant for possible home elevations. If approved, appoint a committee to evaluate those proposals. Amanda Young? This is an annual grant that FEMA offers. There will be no cost share from the county. And I think you have several that are interested in that, is that correct? Yes, sir. Thank you. And move. I do have a committee. And uh, move to approve. In fact, I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Cooper to approve. And who is that committee? Laura Pate, Kristen White, and Michelle Brewer. All right, and they've all agreed to serve? Yes, sir. And uh, so is that okay to include that in your motion to appoint that committee? Yes, sir. That's right. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Cooper. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> Number 18, consider and possibly authorize the county judge to sign agreements with Jordan Services for property market value appraisals and Hooks Title and Abstract Company for title work services concerning FEMA flood mitigation assistance and all Texas 4332DR, which is Harvey Disaster Recovery, Mitigation grant projects regarding buyouts and or acquisitions. Ms. Young? We have approval from the county attorney for the Jordan Services appraisal contract. Okay. Uh, we're still working on the Hooks title, and when she returns, we'll have that approved also. Um, this is for services that we need for the, the buyout. And uh, are we currently, uh, this is the uh, FMA grant? Yes, that's the one we'll be working on first. We already have a contract. Because we already have that approved, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So we need a table. Uh, if y'all will move to approve both, and then on the uh, Hooks title, just uh, pending the county attorney's approval as to form of that agreement. So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Roberts to approve execution of the Jordan Services Agreement. And then uh, once Ms. Walton has approved the uh, agreement with Hooks title, then that can be assigned at that time. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Number 19, discussion and possible action regarding discretionary exemption for professional services, independent auditing services, pursuant to local government code 262.024. If approved, consider authorization for county judge to sign an engagement letter with Belt, Harris, and Pahacek for outside audit for the year ending September 30th, 2019, with an option for two subsequent fiscal year uh, audits as well. So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Roberts. And that, that is to uh, order the, the discretionary exemption and execute the agreement. Is that correct? Yes. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Ms. Gore, has Ms. Walton reviewed that uh, engagement letter? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Item number 20, report results and possible award of bid for overlaying approximately seven-tenths of a mile on North Shore Road and two-tenths of a mile on Flynn Road. Both of these are located in Precinct 2. I move to approve. Second. A motion by the chair and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? Yes. Commissioner uh, Cooper? You gonna read it? Well, yes, I do, yeah, I'm sorry. I move to approve the low bid of CMM. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Item 21. Report results and possible award of bids for motor fuel, oil, and lubricants for all road and bridge departments, the courthouse, the jail, and the annex. Ms. Sims? Ms. Sims, if you would, uh, just read the low bid on those, please. Who are they? I have a catalog in my office, and someone from there came and spoke to me. Um, I can put you in contact with them. That'd be good. Yeah, I see they're not here in Lumberton, but I've never heard of them. I don't know where, where their business is located. So before we move to the next item, uh, the uh, the next low bid is only uh, less than a dollar difference. Do y'all want to award a number one and a number two there? Yes, Just sir. to make sure that the number one is going to be able to, to uh, meet meet your requirements. Yes, sir. Is that the pleasure of the court? Yes. So on the automatic transmission fluid, number one will be Mighty of Southeast Texas, and number two will be Tricon Incorporated. And if you don't mind, go ahead and read that rate so sure. that we have that in the record. Four hundred seventy-nine dollars and sixty-four cents for a fifty-five-gallon drum is Tricon's bid. Thank you, Miss Sam. I'd like to do the same thing on this one, Judge, if we can. I don't know anything about this Mighty, and they, they said the name of it, the brand of it is Mighty, but I do know the, the, the Total Ruby I'm familiar with. So, Okay. So, uh, Ms. Sims, if you'll read off the uh, pricing for the uh, other bidder, and we'll award that as a number two. Just to be clear, number one will be Mighty of Southeast Texas, and number two will be Tricon Incorporated for SAE 30 and SAE 40. Next. Motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Cooper. <clears throat> Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number two, discussion only of any item not on the agenda without taking any action. Are there any county officials present that would like to bring up anything? Any members of the court? We have 276 loads of debris since a little wind so on. That was on October 29th, I believe? Yes, sir. So guys have been working hard and steady and worked yesterday during the holiday to pick it up and to move it. So 
When do y'all think you'll be finished? Uh, within a week or so. Good deal. So. Well, we appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Did you want to uh, say anything, or does anybody else have anything further before Commissioner Kirkendall? One, I think you wanted to make a statement or you even maybe say a prayer about Tuffy Hamilton. Yes, sir. I, I would like for us, if, if, if the court would oblige us, just to stand and uh, say a prayer for uh, Mike Hamilton's family. He served our region uh, with distinction and uh, was able, he was very instrumental in helping the previous courts during Hurricane Rita and Ike. And so I think it would be an honorable judge if we honor him. And Absolutely. If we could stand and pray. Yes, sir. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord, and Lord, we do honor the life of Mike Hamilton today. Lord, we thank you for his service to the public, Lord, and his many years in Southeast Texas, Lord, as a business owner. Lord, I know his family, Lord, are grieving today, Lord, as they're in the, in the services as we uh, pray today. Lord, we pray for the comfort uh, to come from God, and Lord God, that hope for tomorrow, Lord, that uh, the days will get brighter, and uh, Lord, that the legacy that Mike has left through legislation that has been passed, Lord, uh, we thank you for that, Lord, making all of our lives better in Southeast Texas. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Commissioner. Yes, sir. Is there anything further? If not, we'll be in recess until 10 a.m. on Thursday, November 14th.